You know, one of the first things I think about when I think about Walmart is cereal. Not really. But today, we're going to look at some limited edition, Walmart exclusive, great value cereals to see just what kind of a value they really are. Greetings one and all. So today we're going to be looking at some more cereal and some more limited edition cereal. I'm doing a lot of that lately. But this time it's from Walmart for their great value line, which, you know, is their generic line for everything from ketchup to salsa to baby food. But in this case, we've got cereals. Now, they did do a couple of limited edition cereals in the winter time that I didn't cover in a video, but one of them was like a s'mores uh, cereal, which was freaking delicious. Um, but this time around, the three that are out, at least two of them are quite unusual in terms of cereal profiles. So I saw those in the store and I'm like, all right, I gotta take a look at these. So today we're gonna break down three different Walmart great value limited edition spring summer cereals. Um, the first one is cinnamon, cinnamon mini donut, which obviously that's pretty standard these days. There's a lot of cinnamon and donut stuff out there. So that one's not as big of a deal, but we'll still taste it. Then we've got strawberry lemonade cereal. Now I am a pretty big cereal connoisseur and I'd like to think a historian of the cereal world. I do not remember a strawberry lemonade cereal ever making it to the shelves, at least not in my lifetime. And finally, we've got cotton candy cereal. Now, I've tried cotton candy cereals before, and they've been disgusting. And of course now, Walmart thinks they can do one too. We'll see how it goes, but uh, I'm looking forward to giving it a shot. Maybe they'll prove me wrong. So let's dig in and see what, um, what kind of value we have from Walmart today. All right, just opened up the first one, Cinnamon Mini Donut. Let's give it a whiff. Hmm, smells like cinnamon. I'd imagine this one's not going to be too uh, offensive to anybody, but it is limited edition. A little surprised they didn't save this one for the fall. This could have worked, I think, better that way. I don't really think of cinnamon donuts in the summer or spring, but uh, let's uh, give it a pour. All right. There we are. Well, it looks like the packaging, so that's a good thing. Uh, all right. All right, just poured some milk in. Uh, you know, they look like little cinnamon donuts, so let's see how they taste. Yeah, not bad, not bad. They taste very cinnamon-like. But the base cereal itself does have enough, um, I don't know what the word is, flavor or substance to it that it kind of has a nice doughy aftertaste to give it that kind of donut part of the, the equation. Because you can mail in something like this. You know, take a Cheerio, sprinkle some, some cinnamon on it and call it a day, call it a donut. But they didn't do that here. Oh, it's not bad at all. Um... So I would say the value here is great. All right, next up we've got strawberry lemonade. Let's give it a whiff. Hmm. It smells kind of like strawberry and lemonade. I don't know. I kind of got a weird, something else is going on there. It's a little strange, but okay. Hmm. I'm going to hold judgment. Let's hold judgment here until we try it. Let's see. Look at that. Kind of looks like tricks. Huh. Okay. Looks like the cereal box. Um, so uh, let's dig in. All right, I have poured some milk on it because there's nothing like uh, strawberry lemonade with milk because those flavors just are great together. But that's okay. Let's give it a shot. Initial taste, absolutely fucking nothing. I've had pieces of wood that tasted better than this. I'm getting like faint citrus, 
on the back end, I'm not getting any strawberry. If I am, I'm really trying hard to find it. Let's try it dry. Okay, I say, you know, dry, I get a little more taste, but not much. Um, yeah, this is uh, very mediocre. Like I said, just just hints of of the lemon and maybe like a, a whiff of strawberry that just kind of floats by your tongue and then leaves. Um, yeah, this is not a great value. Last but most certainly not least, cotton candy. I don't know what else to tell you that my other experience with cotton candy cereal from the Dollar Tree um, did not end well. It was disgusting. It's probably the same fucking cereal. It's probably the, being the same place, they slap a different box on it and call it a day. There's like one guy who makes cotton candy cereal in the entire world. You know, he's got his building somewhere in like Omaha and people call him and say, hey, I need some of your cotton candy cereal. Hook me up. I'll send you the artwork, slap our name on it, boom, cotton candy cereal. That's all he does. I bet that's the case. Anyways, let's break it open, see what it smells like, tastes like, and see what kind of value it has. All right, let's smell. Woo, well, a lot more smell than uh, strawberry lemonade had. It's still kind of weird, though. Like, it's not fully what I'd want cotton candy to smell like. Like, there's something else going on that I'm not so sure of on the back end of this scent. But, ooh. I just smelled something even more gross. I don't know what the fuck that was. All right, let's uh, let's just taste this. All right, little balls of pink and blue, kind of like a bowl of tricks on acid. Let's get some milk on here and try it. I do have to say, it turned the milk pretty much instantly blue, which is a little concerning, but that's okay. All right, let's uh, let's try this. Let's get it out of the way. See what we got. I can still smell it. I don't know why. I don't know what that's all about. First reaction is the lack of density. Like when I bit into it, it like just crumbled. Like there's no, it's like the puff, the puffs were hollow. It's weird. Like, I don't even need my teeth to chew it. It just, like, crumbled apart, which is interesting. Second, almost no taste. At least the other one I had a year or so ago had a little more taste. Well, maybe not. Maybe it tasted like cardboard, too, actually, to be quite honest. Maybe I'm just romanticizing that first one. No, it's probably still from the same guy in Omaha that makes cotton candy cereal. And it still sucks. Yeah. Hints of cotton candy or some chemical that's supposed to be cotton candy. Because cotton candy is just sugar anyway. I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't think I need to verbalize this very much, but to say that there is no value here at all. No. So there you have it, great value, limited edition cereal, available at your local Walmart now. Run out and get it, or do not. Um, cinnamon donut cereal, okay, it was alright. Has some value, but it's over, you know, it's, it's nothing that exciting. You can get that flavor other places, and nothing you need to run out and stock up on before it leaves the shelves for good. Um, strawberry lemonade cereal, there's a reason why I've never seen it before, and I should never see it again. Uh, and cotton candy cereal, there's a reason why I should never see it, even though I seem to see it at least once in a while, unfortunately. Uh, those were disgusting, and um, if you see them in the store, run as far away as you can. Uh, there is no value there, I'm afraid to say. So that's all we got. Well, the one positive is that it's garbage night. So that means I don't have to have this godforsaken cereal in my house for more than maybe 10 hours. So that's pretty fucking sweet. Goodbye.